Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So as you saw earlier at the beginning of this video, I did try to use Wasp. Now, I didn't end up getting the uh, kill with Wasp, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Angela, because that's who I actually use to get the kill. Uh, and if you're curious as to, you know, the tries, the attempts with Wasp, I'm going to add that at the end of the video. All right. But for this first one here, uh, I'm just showing the uh, buffs, but we're not actually going to see the Wasp fight first. Uh, I'm going to just switch over to Angela real quick here. But I wanted you to see all the nodes that you have to deal with. Really, that encroaching stun, I hate encroaching stun. Um, it just messes up my flow, you know, and I have to basically hold back so that I can throw the special at the right time. Just don't like it. All right, so you see right there, I switched over to Angela. Now, this is a five-star Angela because in this case, the five-star Angela, SIG 200, way better than my six-star Angela, who's only like uh, SIG 40. All right, so what makes Angela so great? First of all, she meets all the objectives for Thronebreaker. Uh, also, once she has enough buffs on her, she ignores the auto block. So really, all you have to deal with here is, of course, the heal block. I'm running suicides. Uh, so that is going to wreck me. But I'm not changing my suicides. I'd rather use some free revives to um, get this done. Now, I would have used a few less revives. But as you'll see in some of the attempts, the AI really was acting up. All right, so this is basically my first fight. And I'm just kind of getting used to the fight. And you'll see when I finally get serious, I get a good first run in. And I'm like, okay, I think I got what I need to do. Um, the rotation I need to go with this. But sometimes he held his special. And I didn't have a special. And then Encroaching Stun got me and he killed him. There was nothing I could do. I kept baiting, baiting. He wouldn't throw the special. So that cost me... Um, a revive, at least one revive. Um, but I think the total revives was like six. So not too bad. Uh, free level one revive, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, but of course, as you can see, we're restarting that one. That's not, you know, that wasn't a good uh, first attempt. So basically, that's what you're going to see on this video. I'm not going to narrate over the entire video um, but the basic strategy uh, that you'll see here is uh, I, I learned to do this I learned to fire that uh, special one off right away and then just wait because I noticed that I was generating power and you also have to deal with that power alternator now sometimes Encroaching stun caught me. Sometimes I tried to dash back and she didn't move. So I was like, okay. Um, but there's a lot going on, but Angela at least bypasses the auto block. So what you have to do is you worry about the power alternator. One of the attempts that I died, um, you're going to laugh because power alternator got me. I built up to a special three for the first time. I was like, hey, I can really get him. He's almost dead, and I can get him with a special three. And as soon as I got my special three, power alternator snatched it away. And I was like left with nothing. And I was like, whoa, whoa, what happened to my special three? Power alternator. All right, so... I learned, um, and you'll see, these are all of my uh, attempts to learn this fight. But in the end, what I learned to do uh, is to fire the special one off. And I would get another special one, bait him out, and then basically fire it off uh, to, to survive the encroaching stun. Um, and that was pretty much my 
my uh, strategy. Now, once she has those uh, buffs up, I didn't have to worry about the auto block. Now, in some of the wasp uh, attempts, I got caught by the auto block. I didn't realize that his auto block also triggered on the special too. I was told that if I pushed him to a special two, I wouldn't have to worry about any of that other uh, auto block, all that mess. But I noticed that when I pushed him to a special two and he fired it off, he still went into that auto block mode. And so that caught me a couple of times. So I was like, okay. Um, and that was with Wasp. And I was like, all right, it, it's time to bring on Angela. If you watched one of my mystery rank up theaters, you saw that I took her up. This is why. She is perfect. She meets all the criteria. And since I was not going to take off my suicides, I accepted that I was going to end up using revives. It is what it is. I'd rather use those revives uh, than uh, turn my suicides off. All right. So enjoy the rest of the um, fight. You are going to see me eventually get to a good run, and then I'm going to start uh, reviving. All right. But I wanted to show you guys everything. All of my fails, you you got to watch from the first time I used Angela all the way until I got the kill. All right, so you get to see all of that. And then at the end, I'm going to um, add on the uh, wasp tries, and you get to see me get wrecked with wasp, if you're curious about it. All right, so take care. Enjoy the video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Hopefully this will help you guys out. But Angela, I think, is the way to go. If you're not running suicides, you can most likely get a nice um, uh, uh, one shot. Uh, even a low sig Angela. Like if I were to rank up my six star uh, Angela to rank three, and if I were to uh, just go in with her, that 40 sig just means that I need to get a lot of buffs before I can ignore the um, auto block. Otherwise, there's a chance I'll get auto block. That's all. All right, so you can, but in this case, I rather use the uh, five star Angela. All right, so take care, enjoy the rest of the video, and you all have a blessed day.
Thank <laughs> you. 